Hello and welcome to another episode of the Open Journey after a really long, long time since the last uh, video or part of the series was released. Um, for those who didn't watch the Open Journey yet, it is a collection or at least a project or a showcase of mine where I do um, search for different open source games, read some information about them and so tell you some background information, some technical stuff and so on and at the end give my own thoughts on this game and a rating based on various factors. How I liked it, the game and well just how the game is for me. So today we are gonna start as you can see the title or if you know, if you already know the game and you can see in the video, we are um, talking about Blob Wars Metal Blob Solid, which is a 2D jump and run action shooter. According to Wikipedia, it's a platformer, so yeah, it fits in the platformer corner, but um, genre. But yeah, and I think it's a little bit Rambo like, otherwise, I can't explain this yellow blob with its red bandage around his head which reminds me really, really, really on Rambo. So yeah, the game mechanics, the plot of the game is your uh, Rambo-like one-man army against, uh, uh, you're fighting against alien invaders, which reminds me on Duke Nukem. But I think there are more parallels to Rambo than to Duke Nukem, so I think it's more like in Rambo and Metal Gear Solid parody, so the title of the game is actually a parody on Metal Gear Solid. Um, the main goal of the game is to um, set uh, to to free your friends or hostages which were, were taken by the alien invaders and at the end kill the alien leader, so a very flat basic story. Um, the game itself is programmed in C++, it uses SDL for inputs, graphics, so OpenGL, and for its audio, so I think OpenAL. The engine is most likely a custom one, or it is at least very, very heavy integrated into the game, so you cannot make a clear cut between game and engine, So, uh, but I'm not pretty sure about this, I was not able to get any information on some sort of engine which was used except of its used SDL for its stuff. So I think it's something in between, between a standalone engine with a game and the game with an integrated engine. So I think you know what I'm talking about. And yeah, the game is available for Linux, Windows, Mac OS X, Amiga, BIOS, which I do not no, and it's available for the GP2X on Linux handheld gaming console, which is not that popular. I think I did not hear much about this console, but I hear about it. It's also available for the PlayStation Portable, for the Xbox, and the Dreamcast. Um, backgrounds. The game was developed by Parallel Realities, an UK dev studio i think according to the to their own homepage to the url which is parallelrealities.co.uk which pretty much seems to be an english top level domain so i think they are based in uk somewhere the game was released in 2005 according to their webpage according to wikipedia it is released in 2003 so i think i will thrust their website and say the game was released in 2005 which makes it 40 years old I don't know, 40 yeah 60 to 40 years old and the title as I already said is intended to be a parody parody on the Konami's Metal Gear Solid yeah that's all I think now we continue with the um, rating Overall, I would give the game about two stars. For one stars, it is not bad enough. 
for three stars it is not good enough in my own opinion this is only my personal opinion on the game i think it's a really funny idea it's a funny parody on metal gear solid and i also really like the rambo parallels i found <coughs> i found in the game what kind of annoyed me were the bad visuals which reminds me on some old mario games back from Game Boy Color Game Boy well the initial Game Boy I don't know don't know if it has any code name like Game Boy Color so it reminds me pretty much of a Game Boy Color game and um, the sound design also is not that good I think they using completely free and open source sound effects maybe somewhere removed uh, i'm not quite sure about it but i think they just uh, move uh, moved use freely available textures and sounds so to keep uh, uh to avoid licensing issues so they can just release the game on open source and they're good to go which also leads to uh, missing music i was not able to find any additional data packs for the base game maybe there are some modded versions of the game and because it's, it's open source everyone can everyone can do whatever he she wants so i think there might be some sort of background music out there but per default there are no music and also the story is not that exciting it's yeah a really flat story yeah oh alien invaders oh my friends are captured oh no i need to free them and i need to kill the alien leader hooray yeah the controls also feels very very unpolished so for example if you ran off a cliff and want to jump just shortly before you fall down you will fall down because this um let's call it um safe zone in which you can jump is pretty small and if you jump too early you most likely hit your head on some floor or roof on top of you and so you will fall down as well because you cannot jump far enough to overcome the edge the cliff the gap however you want to call it you want to over jump so i think it's a some sort of unpolished controls if there is a gamepad support i don't know i played it with keyboard and yeah with keyboard um maybe there is sdl support because it's SDL, so I think maybe there is support for uh, for a gamepad, but I didn't try it yet. Well, uh, that's it for today's video, and I hope you enjoyed it. And um, yeah, I hope we see you in another video. And bye bye. Thanks for watching.